Hi, I'm Gary Fetters with ICF Specialist. Today we're going over the rebar placement component of installing ICF for a house. I have my first row down. I have uh, my first uh, row course of, of rebar in. Uh, I just want to let you know that the, the rebar schedule, you know, we, uh, we click one horizontal end on the right side and then the other horizontal end on the left side. We stagger that up so when we drop our verts in, we can drop them straight down in between the horizontals. So let's go ahead and stack another, another row. Of course, like we did in the install video, we're going to take our corners and stagger them with a short and a long. Stagger them on up. We, uh, we use uh, prefab rebar corners. You absolutely don't have to do this. Saves you some time on the job site. They're nice and straight. We're going to put these back in here. And again, we are now going to look around the wall and make sure that we are staggered from left, left to right here. And those rebar fingers are in there, as you can see on the, the video. The bar snaps inside of those, down on those fingers. The inspectors and the engineers love it because the rebar is perfectly straight. We don't have to tie the rebar. We are all within the code and standards. I'm just going to continue to go on up with this bar. We're going to continue to uh, stagger it inside outside. You can see the clips. Again, when you're stacking your block, your webs, your alignment of the block manufacturer is always going to be lined up. You can catch more of that in our uh, back and block component. This one's going to go into the outside. Come back to the, uh, the row underneath the, the floor. We're going to drop our vert in here, tuck it next to that rebar. And it goes down. Right down the center of those. Stagger right down in there, just like that. That way, we don't have to tie our verts either. Because what the inspector looks for and what code is, requires that this rebar cannot be moved and pushed within an inch of the foam wall. This, kind of this is kind of a shot from the side. Of course, this is all these building with blocks for, for uh, purposes of this training. This side, uh, you can see that the, you can see how our rebar is in these fingers, and you can see how this bar is over to the left. This one's over to the right, to the left. So when we drop our vert in, all the way from the top, we're going to come down here. We catch that. We go right on down between all of them, and that's how our rebar is going to be placed in there. And then uh. I'll do one more in the back where the rebar is a little bit tighter. I like our corner. And just want to check it and make sure that it's that it's staggered there between between the block. That's what the inspectors are looking for. Rebar that won't touch the side of the wall. So we are uh, staggered in between our horizontal so our, our vert stack in here. All right, I'm Gary Fetters, ICF Specialist. Please check out our other videos, how to install a block, how to put up bracing and uh, pumping concrete, and uh, the five components of installing ICF.